Hello, welcome back to Cassette Beasts. Uh, last time we explored the graveyard in south of the Meyer Sea here to, uh... Yeah, we fought an Archangel and fought a Captain and did some exploring around. Uh, before we continue... Uh, uh I forgot to rank up Mirror Death Ranks 4, so... Uh, um, and all that stuff with the vinyl record looking for got me thinking about what? Uh, I'll put it this way. Found an album that's ever been recorded in my world, right? And there are infinite worlds, this implies infinite albums. That doesn't make sense. So, like, I was a teenager, I was a big fan of this old fantasy author, I was a huge dork. Every book he wrote wasn't just the stories, like peering into his mind, his aspirations, his beliefs, his philosophies. I guess writing a book is like putting yourself out into the world forever. Eventually, I read everything he'd ever written when he was alive, and it finally stuck with me. I experienced everything he'd ever written, and I'd never be anymore. It's all happens to all of us when we die, eventually we'll have said everything we'll ever say. Um... Whereas in that world, maybe there's an endless list of different books he ended up writing. And maybe there's endless versions of us having endless memories and experiences of their own. Maybe we never really die, in a sense. Uh... This thing's been on my mind, is all. Come on, shall we go? Yeah, I never showed that off. You're also at rank four. What about Eugene? Momentous. Okay, you're at uh, rank three, basically. All right, let's rank you up real quick. And uh, I was thinking about how Clement's totally just decided to run a cafe just because it'll make town better, improving things, making himself useful. It's the kind of stuff I should be should be doing. You yeah, enough. <laughs> <laughs> you say so. It's just compulsion that comes from my world. What do you mean? Well... Okay, on my Earth, around halfway through the 21st century, there's kind of an upheaval. Humanity's greed and consumption reached to a point where the world couldn't handle it anymore. Like everyone woke up one day and realized we could survive better just by helping each other instead. We didn't need the institutions that ruled over us while killing the planet. Being able to help people in your community is slowly becoming more important than being rich and famous. But I was never really good at any of it. Me being here in a new world, chance for me to transform into my best self, so I can return home as someone who can do something with, with my life. You need to beat yourself up over this. I know, but I think I need that for myself. Anyway, enough for me. And now we're at rank 3 with Eugene. Well, of course, Eugene in the party for now, then. travel out of here. Uh, oh, the game crashed. <laughs> okay, I will uh, be back then. <laughs> Okay, I am back. Uh, please don't crash again. Thank you, game. <laughs> we have a land keeper here. We're not going to fight him, though. Oh, and we got down the trap. Okay. I don't want to bother with these. There's only one more place left to go, and that is up. Uh, well, first. Oh, we need it. We need that rock. Oh, it's gone now. 
Oh shit, well, I'll have to come back later then. Oh. So we swim north of here. We eventually reach. Hey, it's our next ranger captain. This is Heather with the weather. This is Heather with the weather. Today's forecast are predictable as always. Humidity fluctuating. Planet precipitation? Who knows? <laughs> For meteorologists like myself to climb a new world, an unending puzzle. Wow. Your ranger trainee, correct, and can break the storm, then why not take my ranger challenge? Fabulous. Fabulous. Update my forecast. Now predict a storm of blows and a whirlwind of victory. That's an Heather weather reporter. I did not stock up on some things. Whoops. No, it is. Oh, here to the place. Cannot use melee attacks. Oh. Good to know. See their gimmick here. Switch over to Moth Manic, because I think we should have some Rage Attack on that. Thanks for the uh multi-target and you missed stuck in top dark there eugene all right thunder blast let's raise arms raise your attack power please thunder blast it. Really tanky. Oh. Last again. Toy hammer. I'm just gonna keep spamming that avalanche. All right. Use Thunder Blast. I quote that way too much. The blast again. Uh, rewind. Okay, enough of that. This is gonna be the last turn of that. Don't know why he keeps using Zephyr on me, even though it just makes it worse for you. Alright, the winds are shifting in my favor, you best believe it. Ah, that thing, okay. I think this is going to be the end of this. Thanks for the evasion. No push fire. All right now, fire type. Ooh, that's well done. All right. Own smoke. I 
They're gonna hot potato. Ooh, that's actually really clever. Oh, I missed. Zephyr will kill here. Oh no, it's over. Okay, cool. It's over. Turbulent. Eh, that's a win. How long Golden got retribution? My allies defeated, raised the allies' attack stats. Sure, let's equip that. Let's get roll again off here. I'm kind of annoyed by it more than often than it helps, to be honest. No ranger store could hold you back, huh? You stand tall no matter what. <laughs> Follow these look for rangers, pass my challenge with flying colors. And that's number nine down. There's one more ranger captain left. Fog, infused material, and all of them. Or ask great things in your future. So, before we uh, continue on, we're gonna go restock up. Buddy, he's starting to worry about New World's limited supply of hair dye is gonna run out. Oh yeah, because he dyes his hair. If you haven't noticed. Also, I do also want to point out too that the uh, sticker shop actually do rotate their uh, their stock, so it's a good idea to check by them multiple t over time. Copy that firewall. I'm coating gasoline spray. Huh. I need something on Alice Bow for justice. Okay, well, mm, mm, mm. Hmm. Moonshine spray, sticky tongue, plastic knife, sandstorm, radiation breath splinter. Let's do a plastic knife. Let's put a hero blade in here. It's just a cheaper version of Toxic Stab, because it doesn't inflict poison, which I'm sure can come in handy at some point. Hmm. Well, it's pretty tall. Lighthouse at the top. Hmm. Tell my sister she'd meet me here. I think we found Viola's brother. That's pretty weird. Let's go tell Viola. Cool. Alright, here's where we're supposed to meet Undyans since we got one from the event earlier. I really don't like Undyans, if you, if you don't know already.
So uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, go let Viola know that hey, her brother is uh, kind of not doing too hot. <laughs> There she is. What? What's that? You saw a vision of my brother? You must tell me more. Hmm. I see. My brother may stand among maybe stand among the blah. My brother may still be among the living, but perhaps his soul instead lingers. No will try to be a great task. Can you let me take me to the place you saw him? Sure. Let's have a little taste. Rest your worries, or we'll offer a little danger with me at your side. We'll have to feel as a partner. Then we get her tape, a spirouette. Spirits are advanced mollusk like creatures. They're major ores all reside in a shell head with the body being extended instead of limbs. When much less and elegant, they often clothe themselves in seaweed protection of the elements. They're mostly a range attack here. Now they got Icicle Dart as their only strong move for a little bit. I'm going to take that off and instead put something else in here. I'll be right back. Alright, I am back, and uh, if you haven't noticed, there really isn't a whole lot of powerful range attacks that you can really use here. That's, I don't really like it very much. I'm going to put Energy Shock on here since that's all the best we got here. It's really fast, though, so you got that to go for it. Eugene goes back to the cafe. Yep. Now we have an easy way to, uh, another easy way to go from, uh, the east and west, even though there's, like, one square below it is town, so, uh. Hey! No way, it won't be Sybil's interview today. We already fought Sybil, so, uh. That's the Sirenade. Aid. Exactly well, uh, good for us. Your first fight, and you've uh, immediately got one shot. That's uh, definitely not the best. Invasion, sharp edges, and water wall. I'll come back tomorrow instead. Tree stand still for a moment. The quiet briefly settles across this land. There's a silence here that feels truer than any I could possibly experience elsewhere. It's silence that cuts deep. You can feel it under your very skin. Knowledge that nothing in this realm lies beyond the soul island. Such a solitary place not be measured by most men. Now, if I notice, she kind of speaks a bit old fashionedly. Ben Vader can become Venterloper, which we have seen one before. Venterlopers are higher ranked warriors than Ben Vader's, thus, pilot more powerful combat chassis. The way they've been observed to give orders to bin invaders implies into a military hierarchy within their ranks. Trapworm becomes Warm Maw. Now too big to hide underground for prey, the Warm Maw must instead lure potential victims with an inviting waving its flag and a pleasant jingle jingle of the bells that are in their collar. Let's go ahead and uh, store stuff away here. Fully put hop skin back in the party. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go for Pond Walker. Ooh. I think we have some more space for one more. Yeah, we do. Not really gonna be finding any new creatures where we're going, so uh go for Nevermort. Yeah, another worm off. A trap worm. This is the place. At the Cast Iron Shore. Brother. My brother, if you're in this place, speak to me. There's an undying right next to us. Hmm. Let's search this place and then be rid of it. Yep, there it is. There she is. Give a bomb, Undyans. That undying torrent. Uh, I hate that move. And Viola's down already. Uh, I'm kind of not a fan of how Viola plays. Pretty late. No, I only do get do get her late, but also uh, her preferred creature is also really frail. It doesn't help that we also get her right where some of the tougher monsters in the game reside. Chip, Pustule Bomb, and Quit Smack. Stolen tear fills me with unease. Do you not feel it? These things fill me with unease. Let's not even bother fighting them. Let's pass quickly through this fog and air. Watch them, your brother. Find yourself such a place. <sighs> ah, captive, and we got fight off some more undyans. I guess an undying and this dude. Uh, let me switch over gear you. Got an ice ball over him. Ugh. You're gonna like it. Ah, so he's gonna break the wall at least. Let's go take care of the Undying. Alright, go 
uh, take care of the Blossom all there, Viola. Critical Mass Headshot. Call for help, Water Wall and Water Coating. We don't need Water Coating on that. It's already Water Type. Hey, you scared her off. We're just enjoying each company. It wasn't doing anything weird, I promise. Uh huh. Anyway, we have some magnet switches around here. We finally have access to one. Are you serious? <sighs> okay, then. I will be back. So, real quick, I can finally show this again. Uh, I guess not, unfortunate. <laughs> Alright then. Okay, I am uh, sorta back. I've uh, tried pointing back up to where I was. Unfortunately, uh, some things are a little bit different. I hate Undyans! What the fuck? Okay. Hopefully, things won't crash this time. Ow. So, yeah, I'm back now. Uh, things are a bit different again this time. This time I got Jumpkin and Kunoko in the party, and they both ranked up from the last fight. Which was that, that guy that was, uh, that weirdo. Push those to the buttons, it unlocks this chest. Is there another one down here? Yeah, there was. I think that's what's happening. Every time I get into a fight while carrying the metal block, I gain crashes. Alright, I think I now get it. I am back, and I accidentally triggered this cutscene while I must ignore the puzzles in the area for now, and we'll just continue with the story. Brother, I wait upon many moons to meet you, Viola Messaline. I have much delight to share with you. <laughs> you do not deceive me, spirit. I shall not play your games. No, but the nice festivities are yet to begun. Come, Viola Messaline. You shall find your family within, for I am your brother's keeper. Well, I spare a little faith in the words of this spirit, but if it knows its passion, then my name. Perhaps it speaks the truth. Oh. I'm going to save again, in case the game crashes again. That's a little must on what's been a sight to behold. So here we're missing a valve. Now we have a valve right here. To lower the water level, let's explore over here next. Hold on here, we can grab the other valve for the next level of the water. Check what's over here. A chest. We have to fight this thing, I believe, to open it. It's a traffic crab and it found us. Things go with a bigger threat. Oh, 
when water hits ice, they bulk up. Yep. Uh, uh, there's not really much else to say what's going on here, but uh, I got traffic crabs now. Now. Charge rare. Ooh. 80% chance to do multi strike. Trick and sharp edges on Kuniko. Insomnia and sleep cure. Cat to dance, cousin. Of a floating portrait. Uh, Marty Usa, and we have the Archangel uh, <laughs> distortion on the screen right now. Uh, Marty Usa is a really annoying fight. That's what multi strike does. You have enough AP to use it, it'll use your move twice. Michael it's just gonna die from his headshot here. Political mess! No. No, you're not my kin spirit. Now we go back in, we see the portraits back on the wall now. Now we have the train station. Uh, I've already got the train station dialogue from Viola earlier, from Fast Travel. This is Laird's spirit to kiss brother from here. I think it's an archangel. Whatever spirit fairy devil seeks an audience with me, <laughs> I will not falter. What, what do you have to say, tra Magic Crab? No, I guess right here seems interest in the theatrical. Did you get to meet him on the way in? I'll make sure we're fully healed up before we go in. And as much as I want to fight him with Spirouettes, no, oh, no, I'll just do Giryu Spirouette then. Thinking about it now. No place for us, soldier. At the very floor beneath our feet cries out and such. We are not welcome here. I just have to check. I'm expecting more. I must ask for quiet, please. All the world's a stage, and the show is about to begin. What? What show? Who are you? Why, I, I am but a merry wanderer of the night. They call me Hobgoblin and Puck. I am Robin Goodfellow. And you and I, Viola Messaline, share much history. The spirit, I have not seen another like it. It's as if it's not meant for our world. Even look upon it feels heretical. I discovered this book among the remains of the ship. A curious read. Let me see, page 645, 12th night. The comedy of Yola of Messaline, who is shipwrecked on an unknown country. Uh. I do not understand. Ah yes, here I am. Page 365, A Midsummer Night's Dream. A story of fairies, a story of fairies, a King Oberon and Queen Titania, and the trickster Robin Goodfellow. My dear Viola, you and I, we are merely inventions of a mortal playwright, a Mr. William Shakespeare in particular. Our stories are not our own. Sebastian is not here. He will never be here. 
you'll only find your brother when your tail demands. Does this Robin Goodfellow speak the truth, Ultra? Are these stories he reads known in your world? That's true. Thank you. Thank you. You know I speak the truth. Let the truth of it wash over you. Let it pull you into its depths until you can no longer gasp for air. I believe. I believe. <laughs> I believe your truth changes nothing. It may be that in Ultra's lands, but I am but a story. Who's to say Ultra is not a tale in mine? This future has been written for me, but the words on paper. I defy them! Thank you, voice actor. Ha <laughs> ha how unexpected. This play is even greater than I thought I, I, I could have hoped. Come, let us see the final act. Archangel, Robin Goodfellow, Midsummer Night's Dream. They're fighting an actual Shakespeare character. It is all about using the move Trick. Ultra. The overwhelming hand of fate may push against us, but... We will not perish upon this day. Our story does not end here. Ultra and Viola's hearts act as one. You have a gearette. It looks stupid, but uh... We'll work with it. Oh, we got crit. <gasps> that triggers cr critical mass. Yo! That critical mass again? It crit, it crit again. Oh my god. Uh. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, if this is the game apologizing for the uh, crashing earlier, then I forgive it now. We haven't even seen his Archangel move, so, uh... I'll let, it, I'll let his Archangel move go off, and then we'll, uh... Just to show it. Ow. Oh. Might not be able to show it here, but, uh... We have a wall. Yes, we do. Trick. We're petrified. We are attacking only use defend and raise shields. Uh oh. And there's his Archangel Move Fairy Horde. You really have to do that? Fine. Please head. Damn it! We got lock on next time though, so no matter what, no matter what we'll head next turn. And with the radiation breath. One, two, three. That did basically no damage. Fairy Ward. And it flicks us with sleep. Oof. I see why I gave us sleep cures there. Alright, let's end this. Touch shot! Torrent, treat, and bag joke. Bad joke does nothing. It is the, this game's equivalent of the move Splash from Pokemon. Well, I'll unequip that because there's no reason to have it. And now we have fought enough Archangels to uh, 
Find out how to leave New World, but we're not going to leave yet. Damage increased by 7%, we can now glide for 7.5 seconds. Wish to leave this land, hear my words and resolve. My rise to the task at hand, walk path most long. To the western wings must fly, to the place only I have known. For that is where my chambers lie, now empty and alone. Venture there, and head southbound, where your wayward path shall meet. Where trees and dirt paths can be found, where grass is fresh beneath your feet. Near a building on this land, there lies a log where you must be. For half a minute you must stand, at night the path opens for thee. Unite this act in its location to show you the final station. Heed my song and find the place, that will reveal infinite space. You seem to be a bit of a bind, don't you, Mr. Goodfellow? Let me extend a helping hand, for I have a new role for you. We gotta stop eating like this. <laughs> okay, that's, that's that got me. We have got to stop eating like this. It'd be wise for us to return to our place of safety. Thank you. Thank you for accompanying me on this quest, Ultra. I believe Robin Goodfellow was wrong. Maybe my life is a story in other realms, no. but it matters not. The future is mine, alright. I'll find the end of my story in my own terms. <laughs> One more tied hearts care battle, you become part of my story too. Tied our hearts? For our moment of union in great battle and become one body, felt our fates intertwine also. While it may sense parted, threads of fate are not so easily disangled. You say no doorway would leave this land. That's right. Rats have found, I should reunite with my brother. Very well. They pay my debts, I'll aid you in my own journey. Cool. We're now fused with Viola. Hmm. Our foe once again escaped our grasp with the untimely rival of the spirit known as Alef, how uncouth. Last well, just all the real words, Griffin. Your opinion contained both place of importance and a ritual knack there. So, before we continue, I am going to use an upgrade on Spirouette. Because I want to go ahead and remaster it now while we can. Don't feel about life back on your world. Alright, Spirouette's remasters and becomes Regency. A vast metamorphosis turns Spirouette into Regency. Shedding its shell entirely, the Regency's body is 95% water. Be able to project powerful waves of water in its ballet like movements. The more practice it dances, the more powerful the water skates. Alright, so before I end the episode here, uh, first I'm actually going to save. Uh, it's probably best to save here. I'm going to throw one more attempt to uh, try to solve those puzzles that we weren't able to solve. Okay, this seems to be working. Just uh, gotta throw the block before I get encountered. Alright, that opens that chest up there, which we can just go quickly grab. Grounded metal and plastic. Let's save one more time. Oh, 
Okay. Cool. We got we got all the treasures. Cool. That's uh. You can see why I do not like Undyans. <laughs> they all seem to be they're prone to crashing my game too. So there we go. Next time on because that be uh, we only have one more place left to explore, and that is Mount Whirl. And we also have a rumor of a lost dog on Mount Whirl, which we will investigate. Until then, see you guys then.